Time to get into shape for spring. If you're still carrying a little holiday weight, you still have time before slipping back into that bathing suit. Now the hot diet trend is the GI or the glycemic index. Pharmacist and author Sherry Torcos joins us now to discuss the glycemic index. Sherry, nice to have you back. Thanks for having me. Well, tell us about this. It's not really a diet, or it's not a fad diet anyway, is it? That's right. Um, the, the glycemic index, it's a, a tool of measuring how carbohydrates impact blood, blood sugar. And when you're following a low GI diet, it's not a fad diet. You're still eating carbohydrates, but you're eating carbs that process more slowly into sugar compared to carbs that process very quickly into sugar that cause big increases in blood sugar and insulin levels. Okay, so in your book, The Glycemic Index Made Simple, uh, you talk about the role of GI in overall health. Mm -hmm. So how does it all fit together? Well, the uh, concern is um, if you're eating a high glycemic diet, and that would be eating foods that are high in um, refined starches and sugars, such as white bread, white rice, a lot of candy, um, donuts, bagels, <laughs> muffins, a lot of sweets. If you eat these high glycemic foods, they cause big increases in your blood sugar levels very quickly. Oh. And that can be a problem. It causes hormonal changes in the body. It can trigger fat storage. It can increase cravings and appetite. And it can also elevate triglycerides, cholesterol, and increase your risk of diabetes. And there's been a lot of research on the glycemic index, clearly showing that if you eat a high GI diet, these are some of the concerns. But on on the other hand, if you eat a low glycemic diet, things that I brought here with me today, um, fruits, most fruits are, are low to moderate in the glycemic index. Also, if you're having grains, you want to have the whole grain bread, the wheat pasta that I brought. If you're having cereal, you want to have a multigrain whole grain cereal. Um, same with crackers and, and beans and legumes, brown rice. All of these things process more slowly into sugar. So the, the whole grain bread's totally different than a nice slice of white white bread. Exactly. White bread breaks down into sugar very quickly in your system. That'll cause a big increase in blood sugar levels. Now, if you have a whole grain bread, you'll have more of a stable effect. So oh. your blood sugar is not going to peak up as high. So you always want to go for the more fiber rich and, and eating foods close to their normal natural form compared to having processed foods is much better. Can you have do you want to have all low GI foods or can you mix them a little bit? Well, you can mix some low with some moderate to high, but the idea is you want to focus most of your diet on having low glycemic foods. Now, you don't just want to eat these low glycemic carbs. You want to have good proteins and healthy fats. So fish, nuts, and seeds, oh. lean sources of protein, your, your legumes, beans, um, meat. So the, the GI is really a ranking of carbohydrates, right? Right, exactly. It only looks at carbohydrates and how they impact blood sugar levels. And it was actually developed here in Canada uh, by Dr. David Jenkins, and he's known as the father of the glycemic index because he did a lot of the pioneering research in this area. But the GI has been studied a lot at the University of Sydney in Australia, at UCLA as well. There's been a lot of research on this topic. Just tell us a little bit more about sp some specific low GI foods that you brought here. Okay, well we've got um, some brown and wild rice and the advantage of having brown and wild rice, it has more fiber and um, again will break down more slowly compared to having white rice such as a jasmine rice which okay. if you're going out for Thai food it's usually jasmine yeah, rice. I like jasmine I rice. I do too but you know what it processes really quickly into really? sugar so you want to go for the whole grain. Okay. Um, I brought some cinnamon sticks and interestingly there's research on cinnamon showing that if you add cinnamon to your diet about a half a teaspoon a day it can lower blood sugar. Ground cinnamon. Ground cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah, and the supplement right beside that, the phase two, that's a white kidney bean extract. Oh, so those aren't pills there? No, those are actually those kidney are... beans, and the supplement is made from an extract of the white kidney bean, and it's a starch neutralizer. Oh. And if you take those supplements before you eat a high starch meal, so before you have bread, pasta, potatoes, rice, any type of high starch meal, it helps to reduce some of that starch from getting converted into sugar. So you won't get that big increase in your blood sugar levels right. after a meal. But uh, phase two, not only does it help with glycemic control, but it's also been studied for weight support as well, for weight loss. Cinnamon is easy to get a hold of. How about mm -hmm. those supplements? Are they in every drugstore? Um, pretty much. Yeah, you'll find phase two if you're in um, Walmart. It's in um, Shoppers Drug Mart, GNC, health food stores. Um, it's pretty widely available. Um, and again, it's been clinically studied, and it does help with glycemic control and weight loss. 
sauce. Now that bar that I brought yeah, there. Yeah, I'm interested in that. Yeah, because they, they actually taste really good. And that bar was developed here in Canada. That's a GI bar. It's a GI. It's a low glycemic bar, and it's um, by a company called Solo. And um, this is the first and only bar that I know of that is actually tested and validated to be low glycemic. So it contains carbohydrates that are slow release. They process slowly. So if you're looking for a healthy snack between meals, or if you're in a hurry, you don't have time for a meal, you could have one of those low GI bars, and they actually taste great. So well, you've got chocolate here too, I but it's a special chocolate. Uh, it's it's a special dark chocolate. Yes, okay. dark chocolate is low glycemic. So if you like chocolate, you don't have to give up chocolate. Just go with the dark instead of the milk. Okay, and and so it's got high cocoa content then. Yes, exactly. You'll see dark chocolate that has 70 to 80 percent cocoa solids. Let's talk sugar for a moment. Yes. Um, because sugar substitutes I think are re recommended sometimes, but what would you choose? Well, um, you know, I think there's some concerns with um, saccharin and aspartame and some of the other artificial sweeteners. I like stevia, and stevia is a plant sweetener that is uh, 300 times sweeter than sugar, but without the calories, without the impact on your blood sugar levels. Sounds sweet. What I brought is a liquid. Sweet. You can also buy it in powder form, and you can add that to when you're baking, so you can use that. Um, sometimes it's just a matter of adjusting recipes and, and learning how to make some healthy substitutions. And in my book, I actually have a seven-day menu plan where I outline three meals and two snacks a day. That's handy. Yeah, that's yeah. low glycemic and you'll see that you don't have to radically change um, the way you prepare your meals. It's just a matter of in the grocery store being a little more aware of, for example, cereals. This is a, a low the glycemic. Brand, the you want to stay away from the sugary breakfast cereals. What about other like ways other than food to uh, improve your blood sugar, just quickly. Yeah, ab absolutely. Exercise is great for improving blood sugar control and also improving insulin sensitivity. So if you can add 30 minutes to an hour of activity a day, that helps cut your risk of diabetes, improves your weight, and cuts the risk of heart disease, and it's great for controlling blood sugar. Well, this sounds like an interesting diet, and uh, I like the sound of it. I may even try this diet. Yeah, it's easy to follow. You know, the response that I'm getting from a lot of my patients is it's easy to follow. You feel great. You have more energy. Um, okay. it, it, you notice a big impact on your overall health. Thank you very much, Sherry. Thank you.